What's up YouTube, Mike here with another video and today I wanted to do an unboxing and just the first impressions of the HP Chromebook X2. Now as you can see this is already open because I unboxed the whole thing and was talking to myself and I realized that I didn't hit record on the camera so I've already unboxed it so I'm just going to show you what's in the box but the packaging on this is extremely plain. Um, last week I did a review of the Chromebook Pixel and I will tell you the packaging on that is very much uh, high quality compared to this. It's just a plain brown box, but honestly you're not paying for the box, so I don't really give a crap. But it came in a plain brown box. But what you get in the box is of course your charger. Now this charges via USB Type-C, so it comes with a USB Type-C charger. And then you just your standard uh, 110 outlet three-prong plug. And it's fairly long, so I don't know exactly how long it is, but I can definitely tell you you shouldn't have any issue with this reaching across the room. So if you're not close to your power source, it should not be a problem. What you also get in the pin, which is very nice compared to the Chromebook Pixel, which does not include the pin, but in the box you get this nice pin and it looks very similar to a surface pin. Um, the weight feels like a surface pin. It feels like it's made out of like a aluminum slash magnesium, but it did come with the battery as well. And you also get three extra pin tips with this. So, um, one thing I also like about this is there is a place to actually store the pin. So now let's kind of take a quick look at the device, but I'll tell you right away, my first impressions is very premium build. I mean, it's, it's got a good heft to it. Not like in a, this is too heavy to carry, but in a real premium, non cheap feeling way. I mean, this feels very solid, very premium. Um, but we'll go around the side. On either side, you have a USB Type-C port. That's all the ports you get. So you get one USB Type-C on either side. You get a headphone jack. You've got your volume rockers and your power button. Now on the other side again, you've got the USB Type-C and you actually get a micro SD card slot. Now this only comes with 32 gigabytes of storage, which is kind of a bummer, but you can expand the storage via the micro SD card. And this also only comes with four gigabytes of RAM. But I'll tell you with Chrome OS, it's really not a big issue. You don't really need a lot of RAM uh, for Chrome. So let's open this thing up. And this, the most unique feature of this is the main reason I wanted it. And that is that this thing actually detaches. So this is the first and only detachable Chromebook. And I'll tell you when you detach it, I mean, it feels kind of like holding an iPad Pro. I like the bezel on this, you know, the bezels on the Chromebook Pixel were fairly large. These are still bigger, but not quite as big as the ones on the Chromebook Pixel. And what this has over other tablets as well, or I should say other Chromebooks is, because it's a detachable, it's actually got a rear camera. So you get a rear and a front facing camera. And of course I'll test both of those out during my review. And this um, also got a little Pogo connector and two slots where it, goes into the actual keyboard. So it's just held on by magnets and they seem to be, uh, of course I'm going to get lined up, pretty dang strong magnets actually. There we go. So as you can see the magnets are pretty freaking strong. Now we'll take a look at the keyboard again. Let me set this off to the side. Now the keys on this, they're not backlit, um, which is kind of a bummer, but if you're not typing in the dark, I guess it's not a big deal. But the key travel feels really good on this, actually. It feels very similar to a actual Surface keyboard, like a Surface Pro. Um, trackpad is pretty big. It does have mechanical clicks, but I'll test it out. I mean, it feels nice and smooth. And then, of course, you've got, like I said, the pin loop. Now, on the bottom of this, you got two bumpers. So you got the bottom bumper, and then on the hinge itself, you got uh, two little bumpers. But... Um, overall, it looks good. It's got like kind of fake suede to it, um, but it feels really solid and really good. So I'm actually really excited to test this out. So with that, if you guys have any questions on this, anything you want to see, you want me to test, I'll be sure to include that when I do my actual review. So I'm going to play with this thing for probably about uh, three or four days before I actually post a review on it, just so I can get a good idea of what the battery life is and play with Chrome apps and all that stuff. But I gotta say, initially this thing just looks and feels extremely premium. Um, I'm curious what the battery life is. I guess I'll find out. Um, I'm hoping it's pretty good. So maybe I found 
something to actually replace my uh, aging Chromebook Pixel with, but time will tell. So I'll test this out. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you've not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. And if you want to hit that notification bell, that'll actually let you know when I get new videos. So thanks again. Can't believe I didn't hit record before.